then the next part of the is file. So files that is maybe a Microsoft file or Notepad generally are used to represent the information. So this information represented in stream of bytes are characters. So here you are well versed with the characters. That is you type some, suppose you type your bio data in your word file. Over there you are going to type the characters. Whereas what these bytes represents? Suppose if you copy an image and paste into a word file and then save that particular word file. Then that image is stored in bytes format. So bits and bytes are the smallest measuring units of memory. Then this file is managed by the operating system. Operating system has a pro program called file system. File system will actually handle the file operations like opening the file, compose the file, uh, edify, edit the file, uh, delete the file. So all these are operations associated with file. Disadvantages of using files. So suppose you are using files like uh, Microsoft uh, Word or Excel or uh, in Notepad store the information for certain disadvantages with these files. We are exploring those disadvantages. You can see there is no data type support. Data type is what the data type is. Uh, we did the then rational numbers that is numbers with a decimal point. In characters again we have classification like a single character then group of characters that is strings we call them as. So here we have various types of data. Those types of data support is not available with the files. Whereas with the uh, databases like Oracle SQL Server, we can address the type of the data that we are going to store. We will be exploring those types of data in our upcoming sessions. Then the other disadvantage, it will not support error handling. So here error handling is a mechanism. Uh, for example, uh, in in programming, uh, I have written a program that a program will open abc dot document that is a word file with abc as a name from D drive. It opens I mean I mean to say my program opens a file from D drive, composes some data, then stores the data. Now in this scenario, uh, I run the program every every day in the morning hours. That program will open the data, add some data and save that data. Assume your friend has deleted the file from the drive. Now I try to run the program. My program is trying to find that particular file. It, as it is deleted, it cannot find that file in that location. During that time, some exception occurs, exception or error occurs, that is file is not found. So the programming language should support such error handling or exception handling so that it will communicate a message to the user that so on so file is not available in that particular location. If we don't have that error handling or exception handling mechanism, then the program gets hanged it continuously tries to search for that particular file and it never finds because that file is not available. So error handling or exception handling is not available with the files that is storing data in those files. Then memory allocation is not dynamic. So dynamic in the sense suppose I need 2 GB of memory then immediately 2 GB is assigned to me by the operating system. Suppose I need 4 MB, then 4 MB of memory is assigned to me. So such a dynamic allocation is not possible with files. 
then data retrieval manipulation is very slow. That is opening a file, uh, getting the data, then editing the data, then saving the data is slow compared to relational databases. Then they provide very poor security. These files which have information in it are uh, providing poor security compared to databases. Then it cannot be shared with multiple users and multiple platforms. This is also a drawback. So sharing is not possible with these files. If it is possible also, it is little complex compared to databases. Then supports limited information only. Then retrieving the file fields is time taking process. So from files, retrieving the information is time taking process compared to the data that is present in databases. Now look there, we are talking about the database. I have been telling you database is a repository of information. So database, we have a database management system that is a program in database that will uh, organize the data, store the data, retrieve the data, manipulate the data. So database is collection of information stored in one particular place. Then data is nothing but raw material. So when we talk about uh, data and information, data represents raw material, information represents processed data. So let me explain you this processed data uh, and raw data. For example, uh, as you are from account background, let me give an example from the same uh, field. Salary of an employee comprises uh, house rent allowance, that is HRA, DA, traveling allowance, medical allowance, so all these things. So here, all these things are stored in database individually, HRA, DA, TA for each employee. Now, if you need to calculate the net salary and gross salary of particular employee, you will be applying some formulae. So based upon the organization, you will be applying some formulae to calculate the net salary and gross salary. And finally, you come out with some figures, net salary and gross salary. So that calculated figures are representing the information, whereas in the raw material, so whenever you apply some formula and process the data, it becomes the information. And you can see here, so network models. So database model here, uh, uh, just a minute. Yes, data is nothing but raw material. Now let us look into database models. So database models, there are various models of databases. Hierarchical model, we call them as HDBMS, Hierarchical Database Management System. Likewise, Network Model, Network Database Management System. Then Relational Model, we are going to explore this Relational Model in detail. We will be using this Relational Model in our entire upcoming sessions. So what is Hierarchical Model? It is a way of storing data. You can see. This hierarchical model is developed in 1960s. Then it represents the information in inverted tree format. You can see there will be a root directory, then children at one level and grandchildren. So data is organized in this way in hierarchical models. The disadvantage with this hierarchical model is data redundancy, that is duplication of data occurs because of this model. The example hierarchical model is uh, IBM, IMS, that is information management system. IMS stands for information management system. Uh, this is an example for hierarchical model. Likewise, network model. So network model uh, that is network database management system we say NDBMS. 
you can see the picture here which represents network model this uses physical links that is connection to re to relate information you can see the information about stores clubs customers transactions items so there is a relationship and that relationship is shown via a line between those components so this is about network model where you can see physical links to relate the information so here there are some disadvantages with this model also that is ports limited data and no guarantee for data it is very huge their advantages is duplicacy of is reduced stages example fox pro d base are the examples for this network model and they are examples of database management system dbms these are the older technologies then oracle you can see here in oracle you can go through textbooks which i have uh, oracle corporation has specially uh, made some material which is present in volume 1 volume 2 for sql and psql also volume 1 volume 2 then oracle complete reference oracle pl sql programming oracle sql pl sql by ivan veras ivan veras is the author name you can refer to these textbooks to learn oracle then relational database management system so uh, we have gone through hierarchical dbms net network dbms now the relational database management system the oracle environment is a you can see the various features information is stored in rows and columns format i have been telling you in tabular format the intersection of row and column gives a single value in excel sheet you can see the intersection of row and column sl so like that in the particular cell you can represent about 4 gb of information in a database it means in one particular cell you can store around four movies information that is four movies video videos video so of capacity 4 gb you can store in that cell so like network model so there are no physical links then data redundancy is also reduced that is there is no redundancy in R, uh, uh, rdbms then relations are maintained logically then it supports null value i will explain you this null value once we get into oracle environment null is nothing but some blank some junk which represents nothing and every rdbms should support this null value it is a rule oracle also supports this null then supports integrity constraints that is some cons some conditions for example you have employee data and over there uh, you are capturing the employee information like employee name employee date of birth gender uh, designation and so on over there data of birth suppose you would like to accept the data of birth only in mmdd yy format then you can mention it as a constraint only mmdd yy format data can be stored other formats like dd mm yy so uh, dd yy mm so these formats are not allowed you can mention these kind of these databases provides high security compared to file storing this provides high security supports unlimited data then supports to store any type of information you can see the various types of information like numerics character text date time images files so you can store any kind of data in database then supports multiple users by multiple platforms 
So multi users can operate this environment simultaneously. Then data manipulation and retrieval is very faster. Then supports error handling. I already gave, gave, gave you an example of error handling. That is why you are trying to a program is trying to open a file, compose data, save the data. All of a sudden, someone deletes the file, then program will not crash. Instead, it will display a message that is file is not found in particular location. That is what error handling is. Then supports EF code for rules. So EF code is a person who has laid some rules for databases. There are 12 rules. Mentioned by EF code, at least 6 must be satisfied by the databases. Oracle satisfies all the 12 rules. Whereas SQL Server may be satisfying around 11 rules. So Oracle is the only database that is satisfying all the 12 rules that were proposed by EF Cord, a scientist. And here we are going to look into the various versions of uh, various versions and various types of RDBMS that are available in market. I have already given the example. That is examples of database. You can see Oracle. So presently Oracle 11G, 12G are available. So prior to that Oracle 9A, 8A, 7, 7X. So all these are examples of RDBMS. SQL Server, Sybase, Inferdata, DB2, Ingress, MySQL. So all these are examples of RDBMS. Here you can see DBMS. Relational Database Management System and Database Management System. RDBMS is enhanced one, advanced one. DBMS is a older one. So examples for MS, I mean to say DBMS are MS Access, Fox Pro, Database, Oracle 6 version are examples of DBMS, Database Management System. oriented RDBMS. There are certain databases that could support object oriented concepts. Uh, you might have heard Java programming language, C++ programming language. They are examples of object oriented programming languages. They are popular in the market. They are widely used in the IT industry. Here uh, we have databases that would support this object oriented uh, features also. We call them as object oriented RDBMS. The examples under this object oriented RDBMS are Oracle 8.0, 8i, 9i, 10g. Likewise Oracle 7 and .NET technology using SQL, SQL also supports web development and 8i, Oracle 8i supports Java software also. So Oracle RTBMS supports Java environment also. 9i version supports advanced topics. Uh, here you can see in the market it is around the world 70% of IT industry is using Oracle. Remaining 30% is occupied by these various databases like DB2, SQL Server, Ingress, MySQL, Sybase, Teradata, all those things. Oracle stands top among them. So RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, supports to store, manipulate, retrieve, share data with high security. So ground which you should have to learn uh, the Oracle course.